hello hello we're gonna get cooking today you guys cooking with love and passion my name is this is new orleans baby girl you're cooking with new orleans baby girl if you like this video here hit the subscribe button at at the very bottom right or the left wherever it is on your screen and you'll get more recipes from me with love subscribe at the very bottom and when you pres when you subscribe, it will turn from red to gray. That's how you know you're linked in. And you'll be notified every time I go live or every time I go ahead and post a video. Today on the menu, we're going to have a Cajun pasta. It will be done with uh, a couple of uh, different kinds of sausage and shrimp and veggies. And we're going to use a peanut pasta. So right now I got started, I, I got the two tablespoons of butter melting in the pan and two tablespoons of olive oil or whatever oil of your choice, it doesn't matter. Right here I have the green onion. I got like about four stalks of green onion and uh, one bell pepper, one onion, it could be yellow or white, doesn't matter, and one red pepper. I have a beef smoked sausage. I'm going to do a little Italian sausage, an spicy Italian sausage to add a little kick to it. This is Cajun. Then we have garlic. We have our seasoned shrimp right here with a little bit of lemon on it. Just marinate, uh, season the shrimp already. Marinating in um, lemon juice and season. Here's my seasonings for my, my pasta. Heavy whooping cream, Parmesan cheese and peanut pasta. I might add a little monster, a little monster cheese and mozzarella and cheddar, mild cheddar. I might. We all it all depends. We'll see. All right, let's get started. Right now I'm going to um melt the olive um the butter and the olive oil. Okay, I'm going to melt the butter and olive oil. Um melt that down. Then after we melt that down, we'll go ahead and add. And it's always going to be done in one pot. Make it easy for you. Um, this pan is pretty big. We're going to cook the pasta and the ingredients in one pot. Make it easy for us today. All right, we're just waiting on this to melt on down. And we got this on like a medium, a medium high heat. And as soon as it get hot for you, you can add, uh, right now I'm going to add the Italian sausage. So this is going to be a Cajun pasta. This is spicy Italian sausage. We just going to brown these babies on off. And remember we're doing everything in one pan. Now while that's uh, browning off, I'm going to turn the heat down to about, about six and a half. All right, and we are sauteing this at a medium heat. Now that the, um, and I also put the seasonings in there. You can see the seasonings looking real good. And why is sauteing right now in the skillet? 
We're going to be adding the veggies in a minute. Trying to wait till this get a little cooked. I added the smoked sausage in there because I like to brown my smoked sausage too. It's a quick meal you can prepare for the family or for your special one, your hubby, with love. And you don't have to do a lot of standing on your feet. All right, so we want to go ahead and throw those veggies in there. Really going to get that flavor that flavor in there. Look at all this goodness. This big pot of goodness right here. Love, baby. Big pot of love. And we just sauteing Add a little bit of my Cajun seasoning. All right, look at that. I added the garlic, the onions, the bell pepper, the green onion, white onion, bell pepper, red pepper. Look at that goodness right there. And all we're doing is letting it cook down. You guys, if you can only smell how good this is right now, and it's not even done yet. Whew, this is gonna be something else. A pot of love. And next, after we saute this down a little bit, we're going to be adding now chicken broth, or you can do vegetable broth, whatever you choose. And we're going to allow it to boil a little bit. And we're going to add, the, um, after we allow it to boil just for a few minutes, then we're going to add the pasta. And then we're going to cover it. And with the pot, uh, with the uh, the chicken broth or vegetable broth, whatever you choose, if you're doing a veggie style one, um, we can use about three cups because I'm using one and a half boxes of pasta. So three cups of chicken broth. Look at that, look at that, look at that. This goodness right here. All right, so we got it cooked down a little bit. Now we're gonna go ahead and add our three cups of chicken broth. And this is going to bring it back to a bowl. I'm gonna turn up the heat a little bit. Oh, look at this, guys. Look at this. This is gonna be a one pot meal. So make sure you have a bigger pot. 
Now we're going to cook this in one pot. And like I said, we're going to start off with, sorry about that. We're going to start off with three cups of chicken broth. But if we need more, we can add more. You want to I turn up the heat a little bit, trying to wait to come back to a boil. Once it come back to a boil, I'm going to throw in the pasta. And then when I throw in the pasta, I'm going to cover it, let it steam on a medium heat. So it's coming back to a boil right now, as you can see. Oh, that looks good. You guys, it smells so good. Okay, as you can see, it's coming to a bowl. Now I'm going to add the pasta. All right, as you can see, I added the pasta. And we're going to go ahead and cover this. And then I'll allow it to cook for a few moments. Now, what I've done now is just add a little bit of, uh, I mean, add the shrimp now. It's still boiling. The noodles are still boiling, getting tender. Now I'm gonna go back and cover it. As you can see, it is coming on quite good. Trying to get those noodles tender. We got the shrimp in here. All the ingredients is in here. Just trying to wait till those noodles get tender. As you can see, they're flopping up. They fluff. I'm sorry, I said flopping up. I'm so sorry. They're fluffing up. <laughs> so it ain't gonna take them long, and they'll be ready, ready to go. Y'all, it smells so good. So good. So right now. I then added the heavy whipping cream and I'm going to allow it to cook down a little bit more with the heavy whipping cream because the pasta needs to be a little bit more tender. And I put like one pint and a half. And the reason why I put one pint and a half is because um, I might need a little bit more um, when I start adding the cheeses. So I left a little bit in there just to, just in case I need to cream up the cheese or melt the cheese down. All right, so now the pasta is tender. Everything looks good. Now we're just going to add the cheeses. All right, so I'm adding the cheeses. I did just um, instead of the uh, cheeses I showed show you, I showed you earlier. I just went on and cut it down to Parmesan cheese and mozzarella cheese. I'll do another pasta with the other cheeses. So I'm gonna add a little bit more heavy whipping cream. Cause I want this to cheese down real good. And the Parmesan cheese, you want to do at least, I said two and a half to three cups. So I want to correct you, uh, I mean, correct myself on the cheeses. Um, I did of the mozzarella two cups and of the Parmesan, I did about one and a half to two cups. And as you can see, Look at this, you guys. As you can see, it was smelling good early on, so I already know it's gonna be good. 
shrimp, sausage, cheeses. And that's it. One pot pasta. Look how cheesy. And I'm just going to keep this on like a warm heat so it could continue creaming down. And then I'll turn it off. Thank you for joining me. Cooking with passion and love. New Orleans baby girl. Stay tuned for more videos. Ooh, I cannot wait. I got a couple of plate orders that, uh, well, not a couple, more than a couple. <laughs> uh, someone already, they waiting on this pot. So this pot is probably going to be gone. Look how big this pot is. I got some uh, plate orders that's going out today. Thank you. Now, before, before I leave, subscribe at the very bottom. And you can get some more recipes or a notification when I go live. Sometimes I go live and I won't post a video. I'll just go live and show you and you can cook with me. So just keep track by subscribing and you'll be able to see the videos. And when I go live on YouTube or Facebook live or Instagram live, just make sure you follow me and subscribe.